Your mind is only capable of thinking or perceiving what you program it to do. All right. You understand where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. So when you hear right knowledge, it sounds crazy. That's because your mind is not trained to receive it. Mm -hmm. So when you start going way out, start believing in all kinds of miraculous and so-called crazy things, then your mind is being trained that it can receive higher thoughts. Mm -hmm. So then all of a sudden, when, I, when, when a person comes in and says some way out stuff, you go, yeah, that happened. You understand? That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Because then you will be able to detect the spiritual. So you have to train your mind to detect the spiritual other than the physical. You can't serve two masters. Mm -hmm. So, you, so in, in order to, to grasp what I'm saying, you got to constantly be into the goddamn stars or be a motherfucking space cadet. <laughs> That's what the little white kids are doing. In this book, Trevor Ray's he said 1994. 1998, this Leviathan energy will hit. Now, how long it's going to take this thing to culminate, I don't know. But I'm just trying to tell you that this is why the motherfucking cracker is acting the way he is. He is trying to shut down his country by getting rid of his president and trying to distract you. Like the book says right here, they're going to try to distract your ass with mind control. Now, I'm going to explain this to you. His book talks about Leviathan energy. But see, him being partly Christian, he couldn't understand the forces on what he was trying to comprehend. This particular book, the Kabbalah, explains what this thing is. Now let me go in there and try to understand this thing so you can understand. Because I'm getting ready to take this black hole right back to the melanin in your ass, and then that's going to be the shit right there. And you will understand and all that the black hole is your ass. Whether you call it the black booty hole, <laughs> black ass hole, black cootie hole, or whatever, don't matter. <laughs> Don't get offended at all. Y'all gotta get out of this shit here, wet ass. Y'all damn get so just, just. See, that's the thing about it, how we're conditioned. I can come in and I can get the most profound knowledge. And that'll bypass you. You just remember when I said cootie hole and booty hole and shit. Because see, we are, we are trained to damn zero in on that shit. You see what I'm saying? We're trained at that stuff, you see. So I remember Kodak came and he read the whole King Alpha plan on how they was gonna kill niggas. And he said, God damn, and a woman stood up and said, you need to be consistent. You said, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, how they gonna come and cut your head off, you asshole. Ooh. And the only thing, but see, that's how we are. We're trained. So I use this language on you. Mm, that nigga, that's, he is rough. He is nasty and all that kind of stuff. But you train that way. But that's a child, though. See, that's what you call children. When you focus in on that shit, and I'll be talking about the most profound thing, but you ain't even my daughter enough to say, well, see, we'll die past that thing. Hell, I curse myself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, oh, cause, cause I did to say some shit that's in your mind. You see, you, you have nasty thoughts all day, I'm day long. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like your shit don't stink. Then we gotta get out of all these things. So these are the barriers, you see. That's why I come and I become more foul and more inhumane and stuff, cause I'm trying to break down layers of culture which is what's hiding, and that's why we can't get no damn way. That's why a nigga can come before you with all this beautiful, eloquent speaking, and all this thing in, he can get you all up based on emotion. And you can feel thing right here, and you say, oh, that's some awesome stuff. But then again, on the other hand, he didn't drive it point, and he didn't drive the point home, so therefore it's just, you go from one meeting to the other, that feels good shit. So now I ain't coming with none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't coming with none of that stuff. So therefore, you got to get out of how I say things. That's what Uncle Elijah Muhammad used to tell him. You don't even understand because they were chewing. He said, listen to not how I say it, but listen to what I say. You see what I'm saying? But that's why a whole people missed his message because he was not a great speaker. So they missed his message because the people was more interested in the damn messenger than the message. And that's the problem what we got all the damn time. That's why we got all these people following us. We following all these people. Anybody can come up here and I can come to you and come to you like I want. You know what I'm saying? I can come to you like I want. But I ain't doing that. It ain't about that. It's about what's going on here. We are in the trenches. And when you're in the damn trenches and shit, you know what happens when you get in the trenches and shit and it's you against the man. You cut a nigga balls off just to damn survive. So we don't need to be funny with this old bullshit because I come up in here and I'm cursing and all that kind of stuff. I didn't come to those doggone people. <laughs> That's why I don't go to no churches and all that kind of stuff. I didn't come to those people. You understand where I'm coming from? So don't just get all frown all up when I say these things. I'll do all that kind of stuff because it ain't even about that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody know 
that y'all is another nigga when you get in the house and take off y'all damn shoes and shit. You got it. And the goddamn cookie fall on the floor. Your monkey ass eat it. <laughs> Just like me! <laughs> Somebody come to your house, the cookie fall on the floor, and it damn near kill you to throw that shit in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to eat it. <laughs> That's what the African used to say. Eat it. Why? Because if you don't get the enzymes from nature, when something falls on the ground, then you don't get immune from the damn enzymes, and you end up sick all the time. You're supposed to mix nature with the enzymes, and therefore, you can become immune to it. So you're supposed to tell the child to eat the damn cookie off the floor. <laughs> don't eat the cookie off the floor. You don't realize you're supposed to tell him to eat the cookie off the floor. Therefore, when he go outside and play around nature, he don't come back with the sniffs and all that shit. That's why the European was always, he was rooted in nature. Because <laughs> we used to live outside close to the nature also. That's why even in the most elaborate Egyptian temples, they didn't have no windows and shit all shut up. They had nature all there. You could walk right in the temple. It was all a part of nature. The dust and all, that's the enzymes. You're supposed to eat the shit off the damn floor. You think about your ass dying like flies, and that nigga, they got a homeless nigga been out there for like 45 years. And that motherfucker ain't dead yet. Still fucking around trash cans and shit. But yet a nigga around here with a damn bad ass suit, he's a two other suit for the sobriety. He got camped all up the ass. Here come a motherfucking nigga, he ain't shit, man. Got them, uh, his feet, his shoes is harder than leather. His, his damn heel. But that nigga ain't dead yet. You see what I'm saying? But take that nigga up, cut his head, give him a fucking bath, and you will be dead in a week. <laughs> Gotta know the science and shit. Alright, let's go on. Ignorance is a disease. Not in the form where you say ignorance is all time high, like a figure of speech. No, ignorance is really a disease. What it is, is... If, if you program yourself or if there's a certain energy, because knowledge is energy, and you have a certain energy <coughs> that's a lack of energy, which means that your mind is mediocre, it's ochre, then after a while you'll find out that you'll get to the point of no return. You'll always be stupid. <laughs> you got a stupid parents, stupid mama, and a stupid father. 99% of the chance time you're going to be stupid because it's a disease, it's hereditary. Seriously. And especially the mother. Because the father is, even, even if the father is very close, he's not in the situation if he's the father that provides where he's going to be there. But a woman has a certain energy. And if your mama is stupid, God damn it, you through. If your mama's stupid, that's why you always got to it's always good to get on the daughter. Because even though the male, but then again, the, 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 the male does not transmit the same energy to the children as the actual mother does. Mm -hmm. But even if you got stupid parents, it's gonna go, you're going to be stupid, basically. And I'm saying it's a disease, whereas you got to learn how to use your brain. Whereas I, I, I saw a brother, I, I met a brother on the train one day, and the brother... He was not used to thinking, period. Yeah. So, it might take him down two weeks to process something I said. Because, because he wasn't used to thinking, because it's an actual a disease. Now, on the other hand, if you notice this too, if you take some older people out here, that's beyond 50, and this, is, and this has nothing to do with you because you're an advanced breed of people, you can't, you're a light being but we are making observation of the greater society. That's beyond 50. And they're just like real passive and just real people that basically, you know, just real pa so damn passive till they're stupid. But if you can go back to somewhere in their 30, they had a certain energy about them that you wouldn't think that that's the same person that, that's just in the 50s. That is because you got a certain energy that's in you. Not you, because obviously, for the mere fact, because we have some people that's over 40, but for the mere fact that you are, are here is because you always thought a certain way all your life. Thank you. you was a stranger, you know, you you probably didn't, sometimes you didn't sit tell motherfuckers, but you was thinking all kind of shit in your life. That's, you was born that way because you were an advanced soul, you were an old soul. 
And most conscious people, even the younger ones, you thought a certain way all your life. You understand what I'm saying? But you got certain people out here, there's a certain energy that you have. And as you get older, it dissipates. It, it starts to it, it starts to actually wear down. That's why they say brain cells burn up. Mm. Now what happens is the one the one thing that makes these things burn up is this. The brain only <coughs> it the brain only goes to other realms based on you giving it something new to ponder on. Mm -hmm. so it's like a muscle. And it can only it can only, a, a muscle can only expand based on friction, or based on contradiction, or based on trial and error. It's got to move, it's got to be in motion. If you have a routine daily life, get it out. By a certain time, if your energy does not get a new concept, or a new, uh, uh, some kind of new, situation you understand what I'm saying it will uh, it will uh, eventually die out it's like if you take a damn uh, a tin can and if you keep water in it so long the damn bottom will rust out and the water will will come out of either the water will evaporate same thing with actual energy if you notice if you notice if you notice people just real stupid at an old age where they are, they say, they say, oh, he's he's old and he can't understand, he's stuck in his ways. That's because they had a routine life. So as a result, America has a mind control over everybody. They say, we want a routine life, even if you are so-called mm -hmm. upper mobile. Mm -hmm. We want it so that 98% of the things you do every day in and out is the same routine shit. Mm -hmm. So somehow they can shut down that brain energy. Mm -hmm. Now, we understand that white people can't take our energy. Check. It's not based on racism that you think of with just some political terms. You know, you know the black bourgeoisie always got some excuse for the white man. Mm. Well, you know, it's because they're ignorant. If they ever learned about us, they wouldn't be racist. Mm. Wait a minute, I ain't never known no motherfucking white man ever oppressed us that didn't know all about us. Because <laughs> a dumb motherfucker don't have the power to oppress nobody. <laughs> always, it's always the wise of them. Yes, sir. Every cracker that ever did something that affected your life. Not no cracker in Alabama jumping around some damn sheep talking you don't like no nigga. I'm talking about people who affect your life. They are brilliant people. That's called cleverness. The devil never, and there's no thing never said that the devil, even if you deal with the mythological devil, was no dummy. Otherwise you couldn't have your ass. Yeah? So they always say they're learning, and they ain't got nothing to do with that. There's a certain energy that you give off that they can't take. And if they come into that particular energy, they automatically go against it. In the Gnostic scriptures, they say there's three races of men. The spiritual, the psychic, and the physical. The spiritual is the original race of people. That's why you can't do shit in the physical that, 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 fuck, fuck, that, 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 that go right for your ass. Then there's the psychic. That's a person somewhere in between. Maybe some people in Tibet or some forms of India where the caste system where they semi, where they, where they semi can deal with both worlds. And then there's the physical. A person that functions in the physical world and he's good at it. But they say that physical person cannot Take the spiritual person's energy. Mm. Now that's in the Gnostic scripture. Okay. So that means that they're talking about the white man, he can't take your energy. Now, when certain energy in you, if you are routine, starts to burn out at a certain age. If you notice, you know white people love old black people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see they all say they love an old black man? <laughs> <laughs> they, love, like they love an old black man yeah. and an old black woman. You see what I'm saying? Mr. Charlie and Uncle Remus and Aunt Jemima type shit. <laughs> Adam McDaniel type shit. They like that type of person. You see, because the energy has started evaporating to the point that they can take the energy. Whereas a young person, they can't take. So you have ceremonies going on. Don't you have basketball, baseball, football here? Those are ritualistic ceremonies. So everything is everything, but it is not what is to be the apparent, what appears to be. Never look at the apparent. You see what I'm saying? Never look at the apparent and stuff. And one of the other things is the apparent is, 
You focus on black people doing bad. You focus on something that you can't change. <laughs> you can only change you and the ones that correspond to you. And ultimately, you see what I'm saying? There will be a redemption of all our people, but not necessarily in the physical. You see what I'm saying? Because that's what these Book of the Gates is talking about. It ain't talking about every, uh, a Mercedes in every parking lot. Because <laughs> we are the richest people in the world. I'm, I'm downtown Harlem on a Monday morning. And it's packed. I mean, it's got literally hundreds of people walking around. I'm like, dang, how do these people not work? Buying it on Monday morning just as packed as it was Saturday in so-called Harlem. Black people got money. You understand what I'm saying? Black people, black people got money, and even if you look at a, 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 a project, housing project, that's a condominium in other some part of the other the world. Even the basic, do you know that the, the, the Britons and most of the Europeans don't live as well as black people in America? The little, you, if you go there, you see the little houses that they live in in Britain, yeah. Yeah. in Europe, in Scotland, and stuff like that. They don't live on the same level. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't have the resources. You see what I mean? So my point here is the whole concept of black people, people doing bad is something that somebody tells you that. It's just like most polls and stuff that you get about black people doing bad is the government giving you this reality and you make it a damn reality because they, they, they say, oh, you're doing bad. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not talking about somebody that's on drugs and then got nothing wrong with it. And I'm not necessarily trying to put, uh, 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 put sweet poverty under the rug. But my point here is it's only a matter of a perspective. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Because, 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 like I say, we didn't know we was poor until you. I grew up and somebody told out of us we was poor. It's a matter of perspective. You see what I'm saying? You know, hell, checkers got burgers for ninety nine cents. <laughs> checkers got burgers. So I'm. I'm not telling you to go out and eat that bullshit to burn your brain up, but I'm just trying to say, if a nigga want to get fed in America, he ain't got the bum but four quarters, and it's a done deal. If you want a chicken sandwich, just bum four more quarters. You can just live to say, look, I'm going to get my two quarters in the morning. I'm going to get eight quarters in the morning. I'm going to get eight quarters in the goddamn evening. Excuse me, expression. <laughs> I want a milkshake, I just bum a couple more quarters. It's really not rocket science. The problem is America eats too much. You see what I'm saying? So it's not about poverty in the sense of whatever. Now, if you talk about the rap commercials telling you that you need blame, blame, you see what I'm saying? And then why is it that every time somebody uh, gets some jewelry or somebody give me some jewelry, other than the spiritual stuff I got on, it's good for about the first hour. <laughs> and then after that, I just don't, it, it doesn't hold any significance. You know, you got a ring on and you go, this is really nothing. I couldn't live without this thing and it's just a, it's a trinket. So my point here is this is it's an only an illusion. Somebody telling you that this blame blame is important. And we got draws of this stuff. You see what I'm saying? Dress the drawers full of bling bling and stuff, and we just need a new product. It's only an illusion. It's not real.